Good afternoon, everyone. How's everybody doing? This is David Leach in my home office in uh, Newark, Delaware. And I had the pleasure of starting this opportunity about two years ago. Oh, let me give a shout out to my brother, my birthday present. Say each one, teach one, changing lives daily. Hashtag I am David Leach. And his uh, page is Be a Preneur which is control your own destiny. So when I started this opportunity uh, about two years ago, I used to work for the school district of Philadelphia. Hold on one sec. Mute. And uh, it just took me on a whole nother level and everything in reference to helping people and not just with credit, but helping people that want more out of life for themselves uh and for their families so while i'm doing that for myself you know i'm building a team nationwide and i actually have to congratulate one of my uh top leaders on my team uh her name is lisa luster uh she's a real estate agent for I believe she said 17 years and we partnered up and how i came to meet her is her husband arnold luster jr he actually been following me on Facebook for a while and he inboxed me and said, hey, you know, do you do financial literacy seminars? And I said, absolutely. I, he, he asked me how much. I said, it's free. Just tell me when and where. So we set up a date for April 30th of this year. Uh, I came out there and uh, did a presentation and his wife immediately saw the opportunity, jumped the board, uh, came in here and came in being coachable and uh, going to trainings and just following my lead and allowing me to mentor her so that she can be successful in this business. So I'm actually gonna bring her on. Give me one sec. Miss Luster, are you there? I am Mr. Leach, how are you? Thank you for having hey. me on. Absolutely. Hey, you know, I, I'm blessed by the best. I ain't got no complaints. But, <laughs> uh, I really want to congratulate you officially for making that jump in the opportunity and actually getting to our prestigious uh, title of sales director, where you're now able to make anywhere from four to six thousand dollars a month and gave yourself a hundred and forty dollar uh, raise. So how does that feel? Uh, it feels phenomenal. It, it really does. But, you know, giving that back to you, thank you for being a phenomenal mentor uh, to allow me to do this. But it feels great. It feels absolutely great. Absolutely. Absolutely. You've done a great job. So I basically want to ask you a few questions. Okay. I send you no questions. This ain't no, um, you didn't. practice or nothing like that. So let everybody know. Let me ask you a question. Did you have any network marketing experience when you came in? No, I did not. No. No. Okay. And what would you say to anyone in reference to the business or network marketing? What would you say as far as your experience these past four and a half months? Um, well, the experience is just, um, it really experience is off the chain. Okay. Um, and I've always had a negative connotation with network marketing. I mean, my husband did um, Amway for a little while, you dabbled here and there. Um, but you know, you always saw a few people on the, uh, on the big stage and everybody else was just cheerleaders. And so you didn't really see, you know, I was like, yeah, okay. You know, so you're selling soap. I didn't really see the big deal. So you can't compare this at all because you know, this is a service that everybody needs. And you know, I don't really associate it with network marketing, even though that's exactly what it is. If that makes sense. Absolutely. And yeah. let, me, let me backtrack. Tell everybody uh, a little bit about yourself and, and your background. Well, again, you, as you introduced me, I'm Lisa Luster. I'm a real estate agent. I've been a real estate agent for 17 years. And um, right now, I currently have my license with Keller Williams of uh, Realty in Cumberland County. I am married to the phenomenal um, Arnold, what you're talking about, Willis Luster, like shy and then Judy, because that's just who I am. Uh, Davron Builders, uh, he's got his own thing going on, and so a lot of people know him by his vernacular and all those other things. Um, but we've been married almost 28 years in January. We got three phenomenal sons, and we got one grandson and, and two more on the way. So, 
um, life is good. So okay. that that's that's who I am. <laughs> Absolutely. When when you've seen this opportunity when we first met in this presentation that I presented and everything, what was your feedback in reference to the presentation? Well, the presentation, uh, it, it really blew me away um, because you don't know the information that you taught because it's not taught in school. Um, and when I saw the presentation, um, this was the last piece that I needed for my clients to best service my, my clients. Um, like I said, I've been a real estate agent for the last 17 years and you see the market go up and you see the market go down. And when I got in the industry, it was um, in 2004, no, no, 2001, 2001, 2002, and 2002. And the market was booming, you know, but that's when predatory lending was at its finest. And so now I'm seeing people, I'm working with clients that can't get approved for mortgages. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is the blessing. This is the answer to the prayer that I needed. So the presentation was just the answer for the questions that people didn't even know how to ask. Absolutely. Absolutely. And going in to this with no knowledge of the industry or credit for that matter, what would you say in that got you to where you're at? You know, you made sales director in four and a half months. Some people make it shorter. Some people make it longer. I actually tease you and say, you know, you beat my record. You know, I've, I made sales director in six months. Yeah. And, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, our VPs, you know, they stated that that shows me being a leader and duplicating myself when your team is able to hit a title quicker than you. So right. what would you say helped you? have that success in getting the sales director. You just said it, Mr. David Leach. <laughs> no, no. And, and I say that in all honesty. Um, when I saw the presentation, um, I was super busy. I'm a, I'm a full-time real estate agent on top of doing this business. And I told him, I said, Mr. Leach, I said, look, you help me. I'll do this business because I can see it. I said, but I don't have no time. I said, I'll, he said no, I got you. But it was more than saying you got me. I mean, you were constantly on the phone with me. Um, you were, you know, plug into this phone call, plug into the meetings. And you and Mr. Johnson, I think I got in the business. I met Mr. I got on the, the welcome to the team call with Mr. Johnson. And he, I think the first words after welcome to the team was, so are you going to Orlando? And I'm like, oh, well, what's he talking about? And you're like, oh, I didn't even tell her about it yet. Oh, you got to go to this seminar. And that's what I did. And from that first seminar, the mindset blew and just it just exploded. The business just exploded. So the mentors, number one, training, number two. And so my hat's off to you and Mr. James and Chanel Johnson, our VP, and, and all the training seminars that you encourage us to go to is absolutely the thing that catapulted my business to the next level. How important is it in being consistent? The consistent is everything because we know momentum is velocity times mass and speed and all that other stuff. So if you have something going, uh, you, you think the analogy, you go working out at the gym, you know, you go for a whole month, you're working out, you feel great. You take off just two days and it feels like you're starting all over again. So consistency is the key to this. So whatever you're doing, no matter what you're doing, make sure you're doing that every day and on a consistent basis. Okay, absolutely. Now, I have a question. I know that Arnold's been in flipping houses for over 30 years, and I don't, I don't, I don't recall how long y'all been married, but do you know what the average startup cost was for him to start his business? Yes, I do. Well, actually, he's been flipping for, well, close to 20 years, okay? Um, and the first one, he flipped, and he lost money on it. So what's that tell you? Then the second one, um, we found this house. He was, we were watching uh, HGTV and he was complaining, complaining, complaining. I said, you need to stop complaining because he owns his own construction company. They're not doing this right. I said, well, you need to do it yourself. And so he looked at me and said, I think I will. I'll never say that again. But anyway, um, the first house we bought, it cost us $25,000 to buy the house. That was just the purchase price of the house. That was not closing costs. That was not title fees. That was not inspections and that did not and that was a dive 
that was not even the money that we put into the house and all this was cash out of pocket. So I would say the first deal, then when we got back into it, was over a hundred grand out of pocket. So did that answer your question? <laughs> the start of course for his business, about a hundred thousand. For that one deal. Okay. Now, to get started in this opportunity is less than three hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Did you uh recoup your investment? Uh in that same week. Okay. So it's something that what would you say to someone that think that starting a business is a waste of time? Well, for somebody who's always been an entrepreneur, I had my own beauty salon, you know, we had our own construction company, a real estate agent on my own business. I get a 1099, not a W2 at the end of the year. Um, there's no other way in the way society is going now. I mean, you think about it. If you're living paycheck to paycheck and your paycheck is not even meeting the paycheck, the way to do it is you have to start your own business. That's the only way that you can generate money and increase it the way you need to increase it. You can't go to your boss and say, uh, I'm short $300 this week. Can you give me $300? So that $300 investment, that's pennies. That's fractions of pennies for the return that you get. Absolutely. Absolutely. What would say, what would you say is the biggest piece that have made an impact on you uh, since these past four and a half months in the business? Um, the pouring in of people. I mean, this service that we're doing, it's a service that everybody needs and they need it whether they need it or not. And so being a part of this company that they reward you because all you're doing is caring about helping somebody else out. I think that's something that you can't really comprehend. I mean, when I did have a job, the last job I had, my youngest son is going to be 24. So my last job I've had, it was 23 years that I had a job. And um, nowhere on it, anytime that that job, one, did they tell you good job? Two, did they give you a, a pat on the back? Um, no encouragement at all. It's like, why are you late? What are you doing? I mean, they micromanage everything that you do. Um, so to be a part of this environment, they Did your signal go? Throughout the day, good job. I mean, just the spirit of the people. It's just, it's its, it's overwhelming. So I think that's the biggest takeaway that I was talking about is just being a part of something on this magnitude. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. What would you like to share with people that are on the fence about thinking of jumping on this opportunity? Well, okay, I would say, look at where you are right now. If you don't do anything to change, well, first of all, you have to ask, are you happy with where you are right now? If you are, um, don't do anything. Is your circumstance going to change in one month, one year, or even 10 years? So if you're not willing to do anything to change where you're at, you'll always be where you're at. I just had a conversation with my son. He's like, oh, don't come out and complain. You're doing the same thing. Change what you're doing and what you're doing will change. So to me, there's really shouldn't be a fence thing um, because this is all about building for the next generation. And you think about, we always say, oh, I want better for my kids. Well, if I'm doing what my parents did, which wasn't much, shout out to mom, you know, if I'm doing what they did, then my next generation is going to get what I have. So I can't say I want the same thing or I want better for the next generation if I'm not willing to sacrifice and do better. So, you know, I would encourage anybody that's on the fence, just go ahead and just jump up on the other side because uh, the grass is always greener where you water, not where you look, where you water. So go ahead and jump. Absolutely. Absolutely. What would you say? I know you've been to Orlando. I know you've been to Detroit for the uh, uh, trainings that we had. What would you say your experience is in being in that environment and how it helped you uh, or, or if it helped you to be successful? Um, first of all, it motivated me because, um, like I said, I've, I've been to one Amway meeting, okay, um, and you saw the people on the stage and they had, you know, the, all the things in the background showing the fancy cars and the houses they either live in and they'll walk by and not even acknowledge you. I've been to Orlando 
and Detroit, two different conventions, and you stood people next to people and you didn't even know they were millionaires because they were just regular people. And so the humility that you see across the board, bar none, bar none. So it's like, wow, okay. And then when you hear the stories of where they started from, oh, if that doesn't keep you humble, nothing will. So, you know, that's what encouraged me, that anybody can do this. And I don't care how bad your circumstances are. Believe me, if you go to one of these seminars, you will hear somebody that has certain work circumstances that are 10 times worse than yours. So that's what I really is like, wow, this is anybody's game type thing. Which which testimony, I'm just curious, uh, which testimony between Orlando or Detroit touched you the most? Hmm. There were a lot. There were a I See, this is why you know this was a question. Because I would have crossed that question right off the tip. Um, the one that really grabbed me by the throat, and I can't even think of his name. Um it was in, he said it a little bit in Orlando, but he said it again in Detroit. Um, he was the one that was with the Spanish team and that he was evicted, evicted in from his house. And I guess that got me because I'm in real estate and I know the process of what it takes to be evicted in front of his 12 year old son. And when a grown man stands on stage and says, this happened in front of my son and that I will do whatever it takes to never embarrass my son like that or have him go through that it just got you that you that'll resonate with me forever so that was only one of them right. and i mean you just talk about anybody's testimony i mean somebody that you know you know was an investor we're investors right and so seven foreclosures and get ready to get kicked out of your own house that doesn't get you oh i mean the, it just goes on and on and on and on and on so yeah th this it's all about testimonies Absolutely. And you're talking about Executive Vice President Xavier Marrero yes. down in Florida. Uh, yes. And uh, our Senior Vice President Lakeisha Marion that went from seven foreclosures to seven figures. And she's also a real estate agent down in Florida. So uh, you see where I resonate with the real estate? There's just something absolutely. in my blood about real estate, right? So what would you say to any real estate agents that may have think that that's eh, too much? Because you do work uh, a full-time job and everything yes. in reference to your business. And you do this in your spare time that doesn't, you know, doesn't interfere with what your full-time work, correct? Correct. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm a full-time real estate agent. I got two deals that I'm getting ready to close on in a couple of weeks. Um, I would tell any real estate agent, stop being selfish. Because when I heard this, I didn't hear this because of the... Um, the financial gains that I would get. This is the piece that my clients need. I cannot tell you how many people have foreclosed on their house, how many people short sales on their house. That just, it just decimates their credit. So we need to be standing in the gap and say, don't worry about it. I understand the circumstances that you've come from. I know exactly where you're at. I have the solution that can help you. Breathe through this. We're gonna get it. And we're gonna get you back in the house because the circumstance does not uh, um, determine who you are. So any real estate agent needs to be, everybody should be doing this because think about it. I mean, we, maybe 10 people might call us, maybe three only qualified. So what's happening to the other 70% of the people? What are we just going to leave them by the wayside? Yeah. So, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. And, and I agree with you because I know, you know, me and you talking these past four and a half months, I'm your mentor in this business, but You've had you and Lakeisha Marion and a few other of our business partners and everything have made me want to go get my real estate license. Mm -hmm. So I'll be going for mine next year and I yeah. know you're going to be my mentor. Mm -hmm. So how important is it to have a mentor in this business? It, uh, it doesn't matter what business you're in. You need a mentor in that business. This is, just happens to be a phenomenal mentor. I mean, even with the, the real estate agent that I have, Keller Williams, I'm going to sign up to a bold class because we always need to grow. We, need, we always need to self-grow first so that we can be our best selves so that we can help somebody else. So having a mentor is just, it's pivotal if you're gonna be successful. I don't care how much you think you know, there's always gonna be somebody that knows a lot more than you know. Absolutely. And you, you touched on something that I didn't mention, so I'm actually gonna bring it up now. 
how important is personal development and being successful in this business? It's everything. It's everything. And again, one of the monikers that my husband says is, uh, and nobody take this because he's already got it. He says, I believe in you, but you need to believe in yourself. And, you know, that's something that you can really like say, oh, it's, it's catchy, right? But when you stop and think about it, how much do I believe in myself? Look, we all have a past. We all come up from a situation that maybe you had a, a silver spoon in your mouth or, or maybe you had the perfect environment. But 99% of the people that I know don't have the perfect environment. And unless we do something to change where we've come from, our mentality, our past, the things that happen to us, we're just going to carry it and just it's just going to be just, you know, weigh you down and fog your head up. Um, so you have to um, be willing to change yourself. When you're your best self, then that means you can help everybody else to the best of your ability. Absolutely. Absolutely. So as we close out and everything, I'm going to leave the floor to you to anything else that you want to add in reference to your short journey of success, uh, you know, with our team. <laughs> you know, we got the each one teach one team and I want to give it up to you, you and your team. You know, you're doing phenomenal work and job out there in Vineland, New Jersey. You know, mm -hmm. the Keisha Walkers, another uh, real estate agent. I, that's don't be shouting out my team. That's my job. <laughs> well, we, we all one team, one dream. But I had to give it up to her as well, you know, and Christina Bole, yeah. and Ruth Peterson, Cheryl Barber, and Michelle Bailey, and, you know, everybody on your team were doing phenomenal things and everything. Uh, but what I'm going to leave the floor for you to add anything else that you would like to add in reference to your success in this short period of time. Um, well, first of all, thank you for shouting out the people, but I want to correct you. They're not team, they're family. Absolutely. And when you can surround yourself with people that you can consider family and grow and instill in somebody, you know you're doing the right thing, okay? Um, so I just want to thank you again for this opportunity. Uh, thank the family for the growing, because, you know, families are supposed to grow, right? You know, Absolutely. be fruitful and multiply, and that's what we're doing. Um, so this is just a phenomenal opportunity. Again, thank you for just you being diligent and you and Mrs. Leach just constantly sharing and pouring and me getting on your nerves because I don't know how to use Marco Polo or I don't know what this is. Or, you know, because when you're 51 going on 52, these things can be a little tricky. Um, but if anybody's considering a business opportunity, um, reach out to Mr. Leach because this is, this is the mentor that you're going to want to have. This is the business that you're going to want to do um, because you think about it. Um, and I know you didn't go over any stat statistics, but what is uh, mar uh, market network marketing was $176 billion industry this year over top of NFL, over top of sales, over top of anything else. It is the number one by what, like times five. So if you're trying to better your life, better your journey, or even better the people that are around you, network marketing is the way to do it. And if you want a mentor that is far none top notch, reach out to Mr. David Leach um, because he will definitely get you on track with his corny jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we, you know, the best thing that I love about this industry is building the relationships yeah. we've had you know, that I've grown in the past two years of phenomenal people that I've never would have met if it wasn't for this industry. And we're just, you know, close, you know, mm -hmm. I know uh, we were talking, we're getting ready to do a family and friends event and everything, go to the bowling alley or whatever. And the team going to be my treat and everything for the team. And we invite our family and friends out there just to relax and, mm -hmm. and get to learn each other more besides business. But one last question I do have, is do you believe someone that has a full-time job can still do this business in their spare time? Uh, that's a no-brainer because I got three promotions technically doing this business part-time. So I'm flexible because I don't have a nine-to-five job, but Lakeisha Milborn, who has a full-time job and something else that she's doing is well on to her second promotion with a nine to five job. So absolutely, this is something that you can do because we are in a social media world, correct? Absolutely. I mean, so they're on your phones anyway. Why not be on your phones making money? Absolutely, absolutely. So thanks again, once again, Miss Luster. Congratulations you, on your promotion. 
and we will talk later. Okay. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. All right, folks. So as you can see, I'm helping create success stories with people being successful in this opportunity. If you would like to learn more, you know, my phone number is 609-792-2210, or you can inbox me and I can share some information and see if this opportunity is for you. You know, if it is great, if not, no worries, no love loss here and everything. This opportunity is not for everybody, but it is definitely an opportunity to help you change your life. You know, I know of so many people that have become millionaires in this business and in this industry, in our company. And we have, as you, as Ms. Uh, Luster stated, you have some of the humblest people that actually want to see you win more than you do. But you got to come to the point is, do you want more for your family? Do you feel that you deserve more? Why would settle for $50,000 a year? where we can teach you how to make $50,000 a month. So I'm on that track and on that road. I know when I left my job April last year, I've actually doubled my income and I do all my work from the comfort of my home, just coming out, helping people change their lives daily. So uh, I hope this information was informative. Please feel free to like this video, share this video or comment replay if you're catching it on the replay so everybody enjoy the rest of your day god bless